Aren't you kind of curious? What's gonna, what is going to happen in the ascending loop of Henley that is going to complicate the situation? Well, first of all, if the, do you agree with this? If the ascending loop of Henley functioned just like the descending loop of Henley, then basically we're just going to reabsorb the water that we, we're going to not reabsorb it. We're going to, is it, not, we're not filtering it, and we aren't really secreting it. We're going to do something with the water. We're going to bring the water back into the tubule, which is, there's no name for it because it doesn't happen. Okay, you know why? <laughs> this is so cool. The ascending loop of Henley is waterproof. So let's make that really clear. It's a waterproof line of cells, and it's the cells in the ascending loop of Henle are more like proximal convoluted tubule cells, and they are actively pumping solutes out. So, so what solutes? We're actively pumping sodium out. We're actively pumping potassium out. We're actively pumping any solute that we have a transporter for, we're going to actively pump it out of the filtrate. Now take a deep breath. As water can't go anywhere, water is going to want, look how concentrated this stuff is. Water would want to come in as the filtrate is moving up, back up through this concentration gradient, but we're waterproof, so we can't let water back in. And we're pumping solutes out. So look what happens. Just, just take this to the next level in your brain. As this 1,200 concentrated solute heads up and has, as the filtrate that has 1,200 milliosmol concentration moves up the ascending loop of Henle and has Part, particles, solutes pumped out, what's going to happen to its concentration? Particles left, concentration is going to go down. As more particles leave, concentration is going to go down. As more particles leave, concentration is going to go down. In fact, by the time we reach the distal convoluted tubule, we can have a concentration that it can be all the way down to 100 milliosmoles because we actively pumped solutes out. In fact, we pumped so many solutes out that that's one of the reasons we can maintain this concentration gradient because the solutes keep getting actively pumped out of this solution, out of the filtrate. Again, this is pretty awesome. So we reabsorbed a whole bunch of water. Now we are reabsorbing a whole bunch of solutes. Let's head to the distal convoluted tubule and the collecting duct. They, they are similar. I'll talk about them in a second.